Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your PayPal to QuickBooks using what I guess I'm going to call the regular way and not PayPal Connect. The point of this is to show you there's a second way to connect your PayPal to QuickBooks. So let's do it together. I'm going to go to Banking Banking. Because this is the first account that I'm connecting to this QuickBooks Online profile, I have this screen. I'm going to choose Connect Account. I can see that PayPal is an option down here, but that's not what I want. So I'm just going to search for PayPal. When I search for PayPal, I see connect to PayPal, which is not what I want. And then I see PayPal. They look identical. They have the same web address. However, when the data pulls in, it just pulls in slightly differently. The second one, the one that just says PayPal and has no extra words, will pull in data in the way that you expect. It'll pull it in in the way that you're used to, similar to how you see your checking or credit card pull data in. Let's go ahead and do it together. I'm going to consent to PayPal sharing this information with Intuit. So right now it's linking, so we'll give it a moment to think. It says, which accounts do you want to connect? I only have one account connected to that email address, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. Over to the right, QuickBooks is asking me, where would I like to connect it within my chart of accounts in QuickBooks? I'm going to choose PayPal Bank. And then how far back do I want to pull data? Well, fun. I can go as far back as um, August. If I had connected using PayPal Connect, I could go back 18 months. For this video, we're just going to go back to August. Let's go ahead and select Connect. All right, it's bringing stuff in. This is fantastic. So we have this and it's, uh, it gives me an option to review my categories. That's basically what I want. So I'm gonna choose review categories. It, and this is what I'm used to seeing. This is how it's gonna lay out with your credit card and your checking account. You have a list of transactions that appear. What makes this different from PayPal Connect is that when money comes in, I now have the option to enter it as a deposit or enter it as a transfer. What I don't have is the option to enter it as a sales receipt. So again, what you see here is the option to categorize, find a match, record as transfer. You don't have the option to make it a sales receipt. If you would prefer to make it a sales receipt or have QuickBooks make a sales receipt for you, you're going to want to use PayPal Connect. I have a video for that that I'll go ahead and link in the notes. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, if there's anything my team and I can help you with, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you'd like to work with us privately for bookkeeping or training, you can reach us at gentlefrog.com. Thank you again.